giving this uh, very excellent group of our musicians. But of course they were tutored by father and son, Sergio and Joseph Smilia. And we were so impressed with them. And we want to share again tonight with you the beautiful music that they will be rendering for all of us. And then uh, before I proceed, I will say that in behalf of our family, the pastor family, we thank you for coming. And an important note that we officially declare Pastor Art Center as the outreach residence of the Chamber Prayers. So they can make use of this venue anytime they feel like um, coming and uh, performing. So this uh, recital hall is all yours. All your rounds. It will be a big honor for us and for our family to host this little wonderful group of musicians. So uh, without further ado, I hope that uh, you will enjoy the evening with the, I would say, the most promising musicians, young musicians of our country. So ladies and gentlemen, the chamber players, and enjoy the evening.
Can I, can I hear something from you as one of the members of uh, what group? What group is that? Actually, we are students. Most of us are students from the Philippine Women's University. So, yeah. So, what do you plan to do with the group you play superbly? Great. Um, well, I think there is always uh, something to improve. So, we just keep on practicing and, uh, and perform. So, Your first time in Batangas City? Uh, yes, yes. How do you find the Batangas? Um, I like it. <laughs> very peaceful, so yeah, I like and it. The place? The place is very good. The benefits of playing music? Well, um, I've been playing um, the cello since I was eight, and I have never lived a day without it. So it has done a lot of um, like a lot of things for me, like being to express myself especially and um, and being with other people like making music it's fun and um, it um, nourishes your soul it makes for me it, com it completes me so yeah okay, thank you very much thank you
and the consumer sir. I'm Joseph Brian Simafranca. Joseph Brian Simafranca. Simafranca from what uh, province or? I'm from Cebu. And you are f uh, studying at Philippine Women's University? Under under uh, Professor Joseph Esmilia. They are under the uh, music uh, department. What course is that? Uh, music for uh, masters. Masters uh, applied music for violin. I understand uh, you just uh, play as a group. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, we have also our quartet. And then uh, we also pl we just played recently in f in February 29 in the Film Life Theater. Yes. Why do you like Why do you like this course? Um, I really like music. Uh, since when I was kid, my parents, my father, they let me play the piano and they let me sing a lot. So and then uh, when I was nine, I was introduced to the violin, and then suddenly I loved it, and now I'm here. <laughs> So, what does music uh, give to you? What do you get out of uh, being in the music industry or with that group? Uh, it really gives me a lot of satisfaction because uh, when I play music, uh, it inspires me. It, uh, I, can sh I can express my feelings. Yes, and do, do things. I, like, it also relieves my stress. Yes, and, and, and there are a lot of things I get from it, out of it. Does it also have something to do with uh, being a disciplined person? Yes, you have to be disciplined in order to be to reach a certain level. Because if you're you just lack slack off or being lazy, you don't get that high quality of playing and performance. Of course, you have to blend with the groove if you are not disciplined. Of course, yes, if if you're not disciplined, so the others are very attentive and you tend to just uh, be lazy and what so it, it doesn't jive right so yes thank you very much and more power
malakas. Maganda, masaya, masaya. At ang gagaling tumugtog. Excellent, very good. Perfect, perfect. Very beautiful music. Uh, I know it's very relaxing. It's a classical. They perform classical music, uh, and it's very relaxing, very beautiful, and it stimulates the mind. What ha- this is like a music festival. It's not uh, most of the members. The core people are young musicians that I mentor along with my dad, and uh, Mr. Tamayo is the cello teacher. And uh, we just decided to get together during this summer time, you know, to make some, to play some classical music. And uh, Tito Tonying was gracious enough to be our host for this uh, series of two performances. So, uh, I'm so amazed that you uh, work as uh, one. I mean, you play music as one orchestra. Well, that's how you sh- you're supposed to, to play classical music. No, and uh, we have so much talent in this country, and they need a lot of uh, good training. You know, I was in the, I was based in America for several years. I only came back in 2008. So what I'm doing now is basically continuing my dad's lifetime work. You know, he was a professor, a retired professor from University of the Philippines. Actually, I even I actually taught there back in uh, the early 90s. But since uh, '92, I've been. I went back to America. So you do this? Do you do this more often during summer? This is the first time we did it in the summer. You know, you see, when <clears throat> I studied in at the Juilliard School in New York, and nine nine months in a year, um, you're studying music, you practice your music, and all right. And then our teachers even tell us, you know, nine weeks during the summer, you spend it in Aspen. You know, at least my teacher did that. And that's something that nev- uh, hasn't been really uh, adopted in our music training in this country. So this is sort of a uh, trial uh, program. And I'm hoping that it uh, receives um, a lot of uh, support, you know, both financially and uh, morale, uh, in terms of morale. So showcase the Filipino talent. Okay, your father. <laughs> the, okay, the great maestro, uh, Sir Asmelia. What can you, first a question? The place. What can you say about the place? The venue. Beautiful, beautiful atmosphere. Beautiful acoustics. Maybe not the best, maybe something can still be done a little bit, just only to improve it. But it's, it's okay, and we're enjoying, we're enjoying the place. But the, the site, the, the, the structure itself is very inspiring. It's very For musicians, especially with those playing the instruments, you can hear uh, even a single note of what they are playing. Uh, that is your reaction? Yeah, very good. <laughs> Even without uh, microphones, I can't see any microphone there. That means uh, we have succeeded in delivering our message, the musical message. That is the very, very uh, goal of all musicians, to see to it that what they do, what they perform, is received by the audience. What's the re, uh, what do you think is the future of uh, this kind of group in the Philippines compared to popular groups? Well, Using it, other instruments. Right now, there is a struggle because we need, you know, since after maybe after the 50s, 60s, when pops became so uh, prevalent uh, and even our media has not been really uh, exposing our audience to this kind of music so it's a bit of an uphill struggle but we are not losing hope and that's why we are doing this and uh, the, the these young people that you heard today are still there I mean they, they could be the cream of the crop and our aim is to really train them to 
be to develop their their uh, potentials so that as soon as possible we can spread this kind of music. So in an orchestra, it should be one music playing together different instruments. In the same manner that a, a good choral group, like the Madrigal, like the USD Singers, you can see it's the same thing. Only here we use instruments. Yeah, but the qualities, the, uh, the musical um, demands of choral music or instrumental music is basically the same. Yes. Sir, your message to uh, our televiewers, what can you say about uh, uh, the love, the passion that you have for this kind of, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, orchestra, music? What do you mean? What, what? what can you say uh, to the youth of the land? Well, I hope more uh, young people will, will take up the instrument. But the, uh, the most important thing now is to get the right kind of training. Because from, from childhood, it is best to start correctly. Because in any kind of... Uh, in any realm of the study, if the basics are not good, even if one has the potential, a child has potential, but if you don't train him properly, foundation. yeah, the foundation, then you you uh, tend to have problems later on. Well, thank you very much. Sir. Nice meeting you. We have here Attorney Tony Pastor, the brainchild of this uh, very uh, superb uh, concert. Also, lady, I'm very happy tonight because this is another uh, milestone in the musical journey of our people from Batangas. This is a very talented group of uh, musicians from the Philippine Women's University and USC, and they're under the tutorship of an equally very good professors, Sergio Esmilia and his son, Joseph. So I'm very happy that our, my new uh, recital hall and uh, pastor art center was blessed by excellent uh, artists. So we have to, uh, we hope to continue this. And as uh, usual, I want to share this with our community so that we will be provided with a real culture. Huh? especially our younger generation that could make us a balanced society and a balanced society can produce a happy citizenry and of course a happy citizenry will make a peaceful nation. So that's all we wish, that we have to give more of this uh, real music to our people. So I have to thank the Lord for giving us this privilege of sharing our blessings with the people of Batangas. So, uh, what's the benefit of music to you as a person? Of course, music refines your soul and your thinking and your attitude and your compassion. That's why you feel closer to God and closer to people. Well said. So, mula dito sa Pastor Arts Culture on a Pastor Arts Center sa na namang uh, milestone sa pagangat ng level ng uh, music appreciation dito po sa lungsod ng Batangas. Ito po si Larry Chua kasama si cameraman Elmer Zaraspe.